everybody, it's Callie, your Sensi Independent Consultant. Today we're gonna go over what I've been warming in all of January. I had every intention of splitting this up into a couple of weeks, but things just got busy. So here we are. I technically have split things into two parts. One is gonna be the non-wax, so all of our other lines that don't include um, like your fragrance pods and stuff like that. But then of course, your girl likes her wax, so here she be. So we got two parts there, so bear with me. I'll do my best to explain all the way through. So let's start with some fragrance flowers. You can see that's on the top of my bin here. Um, I use fragrance flowers for bathrooms, office, uh, cubicles, and also gifts. So perks of being a consultant is you're always going to have a really cute, cute gift to give everybody. So I went through two different fragrances here, and I think they're the same one. These are both in the Buttercup Bell. You can see that they're just a little bit different. All your flowers are handcrafted, so they are going to look a little bit different. Not two are the same. This one's got like a tighter spiral where this one little fans out a little bit more, but these are like your traditional reed, reed diffusers. So the flower itself is like a, like a thin wood. Um, and so there's a little wick in there that absorbs all of the oil and they're absolutely amazing. They come in over 10 fragrances. We're getting three new ones here uh, coming up in the spring summer catalog and pink cotton is making a comeback. So this one right here is in Cozy Cardigan. Cozy Cardigan is retiring. I hope, hope, hope they bring back cozy cardigan for next fall and winter, but your girl's gonna stock up because this is absolutely my favorite. I think cozy cardigan is too light for me in wax form, um, but in the oil, it's to die for. This is hands down my favorite uh, of all the flowers, so I have several coming, so. So if you wanna stock up, you've got a couple of days to do that, um, but by February 1st, they're gone, they're gone. So this is in Cozy Cardigan, this was in my bathroom. I replaced it with another cozy cardigan, um, just because I love it so much. This one, was actually one of the Christmas cottage ones. And I do have one of these left. This holds on to scent like no tomorrow. I actually have one of these at school on one of the desks um, that one of my co-teachers sits on. And he says like when it's it's completely dried up, but he gets a whiff like when a kid gets up or the fan blows just a certain way, he keeps getting a whiff of the cinnamon. So it just stays on the desk because it's just enough. So it's awesome. But yep, this one is dried up. I have one left. Um, so I'll save it for Christmas unless somebody really wants some Christmas cottage but I went two through those. Your fragrance flowers will typically last anywhere from at least two months, sometimes a little bit more. If you put it in an area that's a little bit drier than the reed, uh, then it's gonna dry up a little bit faster. But if you have an area like a bathroom that's uh, typically a little bit more humid or something, then you're gonna get at least two months worth out of a fragrance flower. So worth your, worth your money. All right, speaking of Cozy Cardigan, I finally finished the body line that I got in Cozy Cardigan. So I finished up both a body wash. These are 7.7 ounces, so about your typical size of a, of a gel body wash. Um, it wasn't as strong of a scent as I liked it, because I your girl likes strong scent, but for those of you who don't, you might want to give Cozy, Cozy Cardigan a try. Um, what I did like about it though is that I didn't dry out, so as typically I like more of a cream type of body wash in the winter, because um, it is super dry up here, but this gel didn't make me itch so from drying me out too much, so I was very, very impressed with the formula. So I'll try our body washes again. I'll try, probably dry a different scent, um, but I'm really impressed with our gel formula as far as moisture goes. So in it for the win it. And then our body cream, this one. This one had enough fragrance for me in Cozy Cardigan. The formula of this, guys, is amazing. Um, very thick, very creamy. Um, I'm very impressed with this and also our Scentsy hand creams. So these, this is definitely gonna be a repurchase, probably in this same fragrance, but I'll try a couple different ones too. But the formula for this was amazing. Sometimes you can get a fragrance in a body cream that's got so much fragrance in it that it's drying there's so much alcohol in it not the case with this stuff so just enough fragrance just enough moisture um, so a North Dakota boat I guess you could say all right let's stick with the body line um, I went through two body scrubs technically I finished one of these at the very end of December but I did go through another one so butter pecan was one that I finished out I actually got this in a whiff box back in I think November or October so I broke that out and this was my very first body scrub and I fell in love you guys body scrubs this is a sugar scrub um, it's amazing it's gritty um, I've used it on my face and well I use body scrubs anyway in, in facial scrubs but 
might be a little too hard for some of you if you guys don't use scrubs on your skin, but this is to die for. I like sugar scrubs because it doesn't leave like the pumice film or anything in your tub, um, so it washes away. So once like the grit starts to, to sand itself down off of your skin, it smooths up and then it just starts to dissolve, but it, it sticks around. This stuff doesn't dissolve so much where you're just like kind of rubbing your skin, like you feel it. I am very, very much a fan of our sugar scrubs and we used to only have them for like limited edition packages like Mother's Day, Valentine's Day stuff, but this spring and summer we're gonna get them in the current catalog in certain certain or certain scents. So they're still gonna have limited edition scents, but Butter Pecan was one that I had tried. I didn't think I'd like having like a bakery scent in the shower, but I was wrong. I love it. Winterberry apple tea is the other one that I got. These were uh, a Christmas holiday special. I actually have two more of these that I'm going to run through because I absolutely love them. Um, but I love winterberry apple tea. So this is the second one that I went through. Okay, on to laundry. Now, you will hear me say over and over again how amazing our well, our body line, okay, but our laundry and our cleaning products are. They are absolutely the bomb, okay? If you haven't tried any of Sensi's body and cleaning line, you are missing out. Um, first first step, and I think this is probably more addictive than waxes, is our washer whiffs. So this is in pink cotton. I fin finally finished up an entire tub of it. I was kind of rotating back and forth depending on what I was washing and I finished this up, but I'm gonna buy another one of these. This is absolutely a re repurchase for me. Pink cotton is like berries, meat, linen cotton like your laundry and it's awesome and it's a powerhouse so this is a really good uh, smelling fragrance so I absolutely love it this is in the tub you can buy the smaller versions of these I'll show you what they look like you can buy, buy smaller sizes of these these are the 16 ounce these are 12 bucks a piece or you can buy three for 35 a tub which is three of these but you only get, you get them in the same scent is 30. so you save five bucks for going big but if you buy these little ones you can mix and match some of your scents so and i just you know i flavor to taste you know uh how the old saying goes so i just add as many scoops as, as my nose wants if it's big bedding or if it's clothing or whatever it is i just add as many scoops i'm probably at one and a half or maybe two heaping scoops per large load um but that's just my nose so and it smells amazing so anyway, i went through a big huge container of uh, washer whiffs so awesome to be able to add to your current laundry system so you can try some of the laundry products. I also go through laundry liquid. So I have now graduated to our liquid. This looks small for like, if you compare it to like a massive bottle of Tide, but it's mighty. Like this is, this is an example of where you're not buying the water, right? So it dilutes it by itself. It's literally four pumps of this stuff for a large load, that's it. And they're designed if you were to get like the laundry love bundle for example these are designed if you if you follow the directions on them to go out about the same time so if you use four pumps of this and about i'd say a scoop scoop and a half of this at the same time they'll go away at the same time so think of our laundry liquid but don't use more than it says it's going to feel like you're using nothing but that's by design so small but mighty heavily heavily concentrated stuff gets everything out so all right that was everything but wax you guys ready for my wax bin? I am. All right, here we go. Let's start with the big guy here. So I got through a brick. This was from our consultant, or our consultant kit. Um, we we're able to get the scent of the month a little bit early as consultants. And for a while there, just to save on some space in the warehouses, they were giving us a brick of the scent of the month in place of six different bars. Now a brick is about five and a half um, small bars okay so you can see the wax cubes are ginormous um, I slice the cubes into about threes when I use them in my warmers but arctic kiss you guys in my club and it's in there forever and ever it's currently sold out online add it to your club you've got two days to do it uh, before February 1st hits but this is like you open the windows so if you're in an area of the world where it gets really really cold or gets really really hot and you have to depend on either the air conditioner or the heater just to kind of keep your temperature in your home um, use some arctic kiss because it smells like you'd have fresh air just all your windows are open and that's exactly what i thought happened when i came into my house one day after warming it I'm like oh my gosh i left a window open but no it was arctic kiss there's like a touch of mint in this but not to a point where like you smell mint it just smells fresh so arctic kiss for the win i hope they come back with this forever and ever but until then if you add it to scentsy club you can get it forever and ever because of the always get my bar perk so arctic kiss for the win in fact you probably will probably find a smaller bar of it in here too 
Okay, if there's any repeats, I'll let you know, but until then, let's go to the next one. Snowberry. I finished off the snowberry. This one uh, is very unique scent. It's kind of a mixture of cinnamon and mint. So it's been around for a really long time. In fact, this is an old packaging. That's how long it lasts. So I finally used up my last couple of cubes of it, but again, very unique scent, really awesome for winter. I don't know that I would warm it any other time, but it's awesome. So I like it. Snowberry for the win. It's still around. You can still get it for the next two days or until uh, since he runs out. Okay, oh, got two at the same time. Appleberry frosting. Went through two of these guys. Uh, I had a lot of warmers going in the winter. So appleberry frosting has some cinnamon to it. Um, it's got your apple, it's got your, your vanilla bean buttercream. Kind of all wrapped into one. So this is a powerhouse fragrance. I absolutely love it. Uh, first year that it came out, I was like, meh, that's a little too much for me. And now I can't get enough of it. So um, you'll notice that apple butter frosting, whether it's in the wax or it's in like a scent circle, kind of stains the stains the plastic, but it still smells amazing. So don't make it, This is, I mean, these are pretty new bars. So don't let that fool you. It's amazing. So apple butter frosting. Okay, let's see here. Vanilla bean buttercream. I went through one of these. Sometimes I just like straight up vanilla. This also makes a really good mixer, but this is gonna be probably the best vanilla you'll ever smell. It is a bakery vanilla. It's just light enough, but it's nice to tame. You can add vanilla bean buttercream to like a strong floral that might be too powdery for you, believe it or not. Um, I'll have a video here about some of our, our new Valentine stuff, but there's floral and bakery mixed together. But you can also add this to um, you know, anything that may be too powerful for you, too cinnamon, or just needs a little kick of, of cream, add some vanilla bean buttercream. Staple in my house. In fact, I get that in a large brick size as well. Hey, what else do we got here? All right, you guys, rainbow sherbet. I couldn't resist, you know, once the once December went away, we had a nice day up here in North Dakota and rainbow sherbet is just everything. It's got your, your lime, your lemon, your, I mean, it's just like it sounds and it is super sweet. Probably maybe too sweet for some, but perfect for me. I absolutely love rainbow sherbet. Coming back here spring and summer was in my club just in case it never came back, but it did. So get you, you guys can all purchase these here in two days. So rainbow sherbet is awesome and it is a powerhouse and it lasts. Uh, Aloe vera and ivy. This was a scent of the month um, this summer. I feel like it was August that this one came out. This is actually coming back in the catalog here in February. Um, this is good, it's nice and clean. It's green, it's clean. I use this for sampling is what I used it for because it is coming in the catalog. So that's where this bar came from. So green and clean is the name of that game. All right. There's so many winter berry. Oh, here we go. Okay, I've got two welcome homes here. This is your typical spice and cinnamon. I always say this is like walking into a craft store. So this is your, oh, this is, if you're looking for like that home feeling of cinnamon and spices, Welcome home will be your last stop, hands down. Staple product, I get this in a big brick as well through Sensi Club, so went through two of those here in January. Okay, cashmere. I have, um, so I tell my story about cashmere. Um, when this first came out, this was back in like 2014, 15 time frame. Sensi Club wasn't a thing, so the always bring back my bar wasn't a thing where you can add a bar into a subscription and Sensi will keep making it for you. So when they retired cashmere, I bought six, six packs of this stuff. So I bought over 30 bars of cashmere because I didn't want to be without it. Well, now we have bring back my bar and cashmere happened to come back last summer. So now I'm not only getting cashmere in like the new bring back my bar labels, but I'm also still going through some some of my old ones. I have one left of the old label and you can tell, I mean, you can, it's had been like five, six years since I bought it. It's still just as, you know, it's just still potent in my house, but you can tell there's a pretty big difference between the fresh stuff and the five-year-old stuff, but still love it going through the last bars of it. But I love bring back my bar because now I'll never be without my cashmere. It was one of those things where I was kind of like not wanting to warm it and enjoy it because like, well, this, I can't get this again, but Sensi Club fixed it. So Sensi Club is your I, it's been a lifesaver. I love it. Okay, business casual. This was a very old bar. That's I've, it's like one of those bars in my my drawer that I've only had one or two cubes left. So some, it's a masculine fragrance. A little bit more. Um, it's good. I like it, and I think it's been voted on several times to come back for bring back my bar. Um, but it's similar to like Mystery Man and My Dear Watson and things like that. Just a sophisticated, clean man scent. So, but I like it for, for like the basement. Um, it's just nice and welcoming. It's 
you know, some people don't like fruit and floral and cinnamons and stuff, and but I like kind of those colony scents because it's just welcoming to everybody. So, speaking of, here's my dear Watson. This one just came back. I have this in my club now. My dear Watson is another one of those just good, clean men scents. They're very different from each other, um, but I like it. I like Mystery Man too, but my dear Watson is just another one that I like to warm during the house. I like to put those in my spare bedrooms um, just so that they're just an inviting scent. Okay, a wink and a smile. This one is a very fruity floral. This was a bring back my bar from this last fall. Um, just kind of a girly, girly perfumey fruit. And I like it. This one made it into my club as well. Kind of a lighter scent, which I appreciate sometimes, um, but just kind of a nice pick me up. So I like it when I feel like I'm kind of cooped up in the house and it's stuffy. So just like throwing that out there. Summer holiday, you guys can tell that I was really just eager to, to warm some of my fresh stuff. This one was in my club as well. It is now out of my club because she's coming back here in February. So summer holiday is just like a nice, yeah, there's a little bit of coconut in it, a little bit of cream, but it's just like a nice warm scent. Like there's nothing spicy about it, nothing fruity about it. It's just like a nice soft coconut scent. So try summer holiday. If you don't like coconuts, you actually still might like this because it doesn't smell like there's coconuts. It's just like soft, like a soft coconut milk. And I love it. That one performed better for me in the winter than I think it does the summer because I have the, I don't know, I have the heaters on here in the winter and just somehow it seems like it performs better. Next one is my Dumbo. Now I'd actually heard of another consultant raving about this one. Mostly she was talking about, oh, dropping things. Mostly she was talking about how sad she was that this one's retiring. So this one's not coming back here this spring and summer and she had put it in her club. So I'm like, you know what? I don't know that I've actually tried the Dumbo version and I warmed it. You guys, it's fantastic. It's like peaches and cream and tangerine and it's super fruity and it's powerful. I have it warming right now. So after like that initial hit, you know, the first day of it warming, it mellows down to where it's just like a nice clean fruity scent in your house and I really really love it and I love Dumbo I think it's one of my favorite characters of Disney I just love it so much so I did put Dumbo in my club so if you guys want to keep Dumbo or give her a shot it did sell out so you can't buy it in the catalog add it to your club if you don't like it then you can remove it but I like it it's a powerhouse so nice fruity peachy tangerines all put into one so really enjoy that one Okay, last but not least out of my bars collection, of course you guys, winter berry apple tea. I went through two of these. I mixed it up a little bit. Sometimes you'll find like six of these in my bin, but winter berry apple tea is my absolute favorite. I've not only stocked up, it's now sold out online, so I've added extra into my Sensi Club, but I'll probably get three or four of them every, every couple of weeks, but oh, I just love this one so much. My favorite favorite. I wish it would be an all-time round. Now this one, it says winter berry apple tea because I replaced my, my pods in my Scentsy Go with winter berry apple tea, but what I actually went through was pods of Cozy Cardigan. So these are um, unique to Scentsy and they're wall fan diffusers. So if you don't have any wall fan diffusers, you need to get them because they're an awesome alternative to fragrance in places where you can't have warm wax, like really high traffic areas that are maybe like a low, like a low outlet right by maybe your front door, or maybe you have a kid's room, or maybe you have a bathroom where um, you just like to push the button and have fragrance while you're in there and turn it off and leave. Um, I also have this mini diffuser. I have it at work. It's just this little USB powered mini fan. And then I put a pod right on top of it. And then I have my own personal fragrance in this big cubicle world that I'm currently working in. So um, fantastic product. Can't say enough good things about it. They last a long time. And you can also replace like inside this little plastic cage, there's little fragrance beads and it's similar to the fragrance beads that are in the scent packs. So you can cut open a pack. You can rip off the, let's see if I can do it. You can rip off the little sticker for this. We'll teach you how to figure it out. Rip off the sticker, pop open the top, try not to break a nail, replace it with some beads about three quarters full so that there's room for the air to go through it. And you can refill this. One pack will fill this at least three times. So one, two, plus a third one with maybe a little bit of extra. So you don't fill them as full. So packs are seven bucks. A twin pack is 10. So you save a little bit of money doing that. Not all fragrances come in pods though, but it is getting better. They're actually coming out with squeeze the day here in February. But anyway, Cozy Cardigan is one that I warm in my bathroom when I want that extra kick on top of the fragrance flower that I have. So 
So that is what I went through here in January. So I will recycle what I can and I will uh, restart here in February. I hope you guys and gals have a wonderful day. Do great things, make good choices. If you have any questions on any products, you know you can reach out to me. Um, but for sure, try some washer whiffs. Uh, Sensi has an amazing cleaning line. I'll get to some of those products probably next month. Um, but enjoy your guys' fragrance uh, systems and let's get ready for the new spring and summer year. Have a good day. Bye.